City Indonesia chapter continues to provide supplies to residents affected by the pandemic. Volunteers and families from Taipei join prostrating pilgrimage in Kuadian. Welcome to Dye Headlines, I'm Silver Sue, thank you for joining us. COVID-19 continues to plague the world, and despite vaccination starting in Indonesia, it is still not enough to counter the spread in the country. Local residents are still out of work and facing food shortages. Therefore, the Indonesia chapter continues to give support to residents. Artana is frustrated about her finances, but doesn't know where to turn to for help. As the pandemic is still going strong, Tsuji Indonesia chapter continues to provide relief in different locations. The pandemic has gone on for a long time and many people have lost their jobs. We hope these aid supplies can help relieve some stress. In Banten's Lebak, someone donated 100,000 portions of aid supplies and asked Tsuji and the military to distribute it to families in dire need. During the pandemic, we cannot conduct our business, so our income has gradually reduced. We have problems put food on the table. Thankfully, you have given us rice. We are so happy to have a rice to eat again. Meanwhile, in East Java, volunteers send aid supplies to remote residents each month, which includes rice and masks to help solve their problems temporarily. I'm so happy to receive Suzy's gifts, which includes rice and masks. Thank Allah, and may Allah bless you. The pandemic has lasted this long, but we continue to be united in our goal. No matter how big the obstacle is, we can get through it. This time it's not just Suzy who is here to help. Many other charity organizations are here offering support. COVID-19 continues to wreak havoc on the world, but Suji's support does not stop. There's a single mother in Luzhou who takes care of a pair of children. The family of three lives in a suite with only one bed. They have to take turns to sleep every day. The house is full of miscellaneous items. In March, at the request of Social Affairs Bureau, city volunteers began to accompany and care for the family. Single mother Miss Lin leads a family of three living in this suite with only one big bed full of clutter and limited space. They take turns sleeping on their one bed. Helping them find a home where they can sleep comfortably is the first priority of Zigi volunteers. <laughs> 50 volunteers mobilized to move the items from the rooftop to the seventh floor where the elevator is located. The new residence on the fourth floor has no elevator as things need to be carried by hand. Unlike the past, there is the living room with three rooms. When moving in, the landlord did not include furniture or a water heater. Volunteers helped with all the arrangements. The whole place was empty. We have moved in the furniture and helped her move the bed and the closet and the lights and paint the whole thing. Finally, everyone has their own independent space, and the good mood of the children makes this home different from the beginning. Thank you very much. Thank you for helping us. I'm glad you helped us move here. We are very satisfied. In March, Zhiji accepted a call from the Social Affairs Bureau to care for the family. In April, Zhiji made glutinous rice balls by hand to celebrate move-in day and sent sincere blessings. The mother's tears show their gratitude as they just want this happiness to be there forever. In China, Xinyi City is located in the southern part of Guangxi. Children living in the mountains have a harder time to go to school because of the impoverished condition of their families. Since 2009, Siji has supported these children to realize their dreams of studying. Although it is not Lunar New Year, the Cixi Guangzhou Liaison Office is filled with the warmth of a family reunion as volunteers lead the children to make dumplings. 
Eating dumplings symbolize family reunion, safety, and peace. This year, we have a lot of new classmates, and today is the first time for them to come to our Tsuji family. We hope our senior brothers and sisters will lead our school siblings to join and feel warmth of this big family. Almost all these children are from Xinyi City, which is the mountainous area of Guangdong. Because of the impoverished situation of their family, their education path has been more difficult than ordinary children. So they help them leave their hometown and go to the city to realize their dreams. Cici's love is not reflected in the scholarship, but in volunteers' love and care for us, just like a family. Everyone is relying on spiritual support to accomplish everything. The spiritual support that Zhiji brings to us is actually what we need and what we can get. One of the Zhiji scholarship recipients, Wang Qiuping, is about to enter a society. As a senior student, she encourages her junior schoolmates to have more interaction with volunteers. When you come across any difficulties, I think you can try open up your heart to communicate with Zhiji aunties and uncles. Tell them your difficulties. They, being our seniors, will give us advice and encouragement. Volunteers give out blessings to the fresh graduates, hoping that they can strike their best to accomplish their dreams. In Malaysia, 31 Cheers and a Care recipient Harun have worked together to help another care recipient repair her broken roof. Volunteers hope that through their help, this care recipient and her family can celebrate it after with peace of mind. City volunteers have come to care recipient Aziriza Tu's house to help repair her broken roof. They helped repair the roof before it offered her, so that Aziriza Tu's family can celebrate a holiday with peace of mind. Recently, we formed a repair team. As Aziriza Tu's husband has passed away, she has become a single parent. The roof is leaking and it is very hard for a woman to go fix it. So our team has suggested we should help her repair her roof. The roof has been broken for four years. I really appreciate Suzi for all the help they have given me. It would cost a lot to buy a new roof. I am very touched that Suzi can help me at this time. I don't need to worry about rainy days. It has lessened my burdens. Among the volunteers helping Azurela to repair her roof is a key recipient Harun. Due to a fire accident in 2014, Harun has lost his home and become a CGK recipient. After his life stabilized, Siji stopped providing financial aid, but still cares for his daily living. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, there's a hole in the roof. Now we will replace with a new roof. Harun has come to Malaysia to work as a construction worker for the first time. However, due to the pandemic, he often does not have work to do. His work gets interrupted. This time, Brother Ji Xiang said his team needs someone to join work for relief, so we invited him. I think this is a very good way. Not only do we provide him with financial aid, we also ask him to contribute his efforts. This is helpful for them. It is more ideal for our care recipients to get back on their own feet. However, for Harun, as long as he can reciprocate Siji's assistance, he's willing to help Siji with construction work, and he does not mind about getting paid or not. The most important thing is to give. Siji has given me financial aid, let it be one ringgit or ten ringgits. We cannot take money with us after we pass away. We should help other people. This way, we can cultivate our blessings. Through providing work for relief, city volunteers have allowed care recipients to turn from receiver to givers, realizing their potential to help other less fortunate people. Siji is celebrating its 55th anniversary this year and hosted a 17-day Lotus Sutra event. A city volunteer and his wife participated in the 17 days. The husband and wife watched the ITV, which inspired them to change for the better.
Watching the ITV told you Bing learned from the real life stories of some city volunteers and quit his bad habits. In the past, I was a smoker, and my own son would not believe I could change that. When I first started in Zuji, I secretly smoked. It became such a worry that people would find out. Then I heard the master say, "People are much bigger than cigarettes. They should not let it control them." Then I threw away the cigarettes and began putting the money I'd used to buy them in here. I'd do that each morning. The money he'd otherwise spend on cigarettes are now all saved in his bamboo coin bank. When I watched IATV, I realized gambling was not something I wanted to continue, as the gambling house was my second home. <laughs> Seeing inspirational quotes, To won't jot it down or take a picture of it and pass it along to his friends. I want to share it with others because the master wants us to share dharma with others. And I am also inspired by the quotes. This is why whoever wants to watch Thai TV, I would install it in their home. Wife Jim Shu Ying began waking up each morning to learn dharma from the wisdom at dawn with Master Den Yen. Having spent many years chanting sutras, she's very glad to finally find dharma wisdom in which she understands. <laughs> The master speaks in Fukienese, so I can understand her. Watching the ITV is like studying the sutra. It's helpful for those of us who cannot read or understand the sutra text. If we just turn on the ITV, it's just like learning Dharma wisdom from the rest of the world. Siji is 55 years old this year, and for 17 days, a live stream from Hualien of the Lotus Sutra Study Group is held. The couple attend each day and share what they learn from the day's teachings in hopes of changing themselves and others around them for the better. Before Tsuji's 55th anniversary, more than 500 volunteers and their family members from the three districts of Taipei went to Hualien and performed a prostrating pilgrimage with pious and respectful hearts. Let's join them there. More than 500 volunteers from the three districts of Xintai, Zhongshan, and Datong in the Taipei area and their families did a prostrating pilgrimage with pious hearts. Because of the pandemic, everyone here wears masks during the worship. Some sincerely pray and some purify their hearts. Today's prostrating pilgrimage let us have humble hearts to make contact with the earth. This gives us better vision and better ideas. We want to follow the Master's recommendation to make the world better, regardless of climate change. And we hope for improvements during the pandemic. Because Mother's Day is coming soon, and my mother has trouble walking, I want her to do this prostrating pilgrimage and pray for my mother. If my mom's legs get better, I will bring my mother came to do this prostrating pilgrimage next year. Xin Shu Han usually works in Singapore. This year, she took leave to return to Taiwan to accompany her mother. This is a rare opportunity as she bowed down with her elderly mother. The master said that there are two things you can't wait to do. One is to do filial piety and the other is charity. Now that my father is gone, I think this matter has become more important. So I'm here participating in this prostrating pilgrimage with my mother, which will hopefully improve her health. Liao Susha, a Ziji volunteer who has never missed the anniversary celebration, also took her mother with her. They clasped their hands together from start to finish. My mother is getting older and older. I'm not sure if I waited, she'll be able to do it anymore. A lot of things indicate impermanence coming, so I seized this opportunity and brought her to the Jinsi abode. With firm steps and devotion, the body has become pure and everyone gathers good thoughts to pray for the world, to be free from disasters and the end of the pandemic. To present a Lotus Sutra adaptation, 62 volunteers have joined the planning team. Among them, on-stage seed volunteer Ye Dezi has designed sign language picture charts to help on-stage volunteers memorize the moves. He has also taken the Buddhist teachings to heart during the process. Hold it. 
Northern District on Stage volunteer Ye Dezhe has joined a planning team since Sutra adaptation in 2011. The biggest problem we encounter this year is that our formation is different from the four performing groups, so we need to make changes constantly. To ensure that on-stage volunteers can memorize the moves, Ye Dezhe has designed sign language picture charts. Every time we synchronize the movement, he will go back and make a picture chart. Then on-stage volunteers can memorize the moves using the picture charts. During the process, he often gets up at 4 or 5 a.m. to check the position markers for everyone. Ye has become a sea volunteer to form good affinities with everyone. He has also changed his bad habits. In the past, I was more hot-tempered, and I was not very polite when I talked. Later, each time I read the Bodhisattva Sutra, the verses tell me what I should so I improve. Ye Dezhe has taken the sutra to heart and learned much as he contributed to the onstage team. To celebrate Suji's 55th anniversary in a sutra adaptation performance, many young volunteers play movements and stage positions together. One young volunteer named Li Lun Shuo participated in the Suji Water Repentance Sutra adaptation 10 years ago, but this time he took the initiative to assume the planning team. Li Renshuo, who is guiding the movement eagerly, is a detective Sikh volunteer in Yunlin County. For Ziji's 55th anniversary, we may only have gone through 10 or even 15 years. How can I tell these old bodhisattvas about the things that happened before so that they can recall their memories and let them enter the Dharma to complete the movement? This is my biggest challenge and rewards this time. In 2011, Li Renshuo was still a college student and participated in the Water Repentance Sutra adaptation. When he performed the Water Repentance Sutra adaptation, I saw that this child could come to us to help in the future. That was a good cause. So this time he participated in the planning team. He is very diligent, and this young man is very mindful and good at planning. This time the challenge will be even harder than it was 10 years ago. 10 years ago, I only needed to remember my own movements. I didn't need to memorize others, but this time I need to remember them all. Young volunteers play with their hearts, while senior volunteers devote themselves, and together achieve the Buddhist musical smoothly. To celebrate Suji's 55th anniversary, Suji is presenting an adaptation of the Lotus Sutra. Today, we'll introduce Tang Mei Yun, Taiwanese opera troupe and youth theater, who have combined Buddhist teachings with performances. <laughs> When I saw the earth rotating in the universe, reminding us to work for Buddhism and all the sentient beings, I could not hold back my tears. I think that it represents passing down of a foul. On the large overhead projector, there are scenes of natural man-made disasters, as well as cities' footprints over the past 55 years. Tang Mei Yun, Taiwanese opera troupe, has touched people's hearts with their performances. We inspire the performers' empathy so they can feel for all the things that are happening on the earth. When they have empathy and feelings, they can feel sympathetic and present their performances as we present disasters. It won't be from outside to inside, but the true performers from their hearts. In the segment about Maitreya Bodhisattva's question, the troop director Ling Wenxi placed the Maitreya Bodhisattva. After the Buddha taught sutra of innumerable meanings, he enters meditation and shows auspicious things. Therefore, Maitreya Bodhisattva asks Mantru Shri Bodhisattva the reason behind it. In this segment, how do I present the performance so that there is serenity in all the actions? In addition, there is active content in the serene meaning, so I have to be between inactive and active modes. 
Maitreya Bodhisattva stays on stage once he starts performing. On the stage, actress Saranda Manchuria Bodhisattva, in traditional performances, when the characters feel anxious or hopeless, they are performing in a uniform way. How to present a sutra adaptation through Taiwanese opera, director Lin Wenxin faced a lot of pressure. I could not sleep because I was afraid I would not do a good job. I was afraid that I would disappoint Sister Ziyu or Teacher Tang. After all, in the troupe, I'm considered junior and young. Tang Maiyun Taiwanese opera troupe does a good job spreading Buddhist teachings. Meanwhile, some performers also use drums to present sutra adaptations. Youth theatre performs six auspicious face. Manjushri Bodhisattva's answers and the medicine herb chapter showing the Buddha's compassion and wisdom through drum performances. Buddhism is about the basic principles in life. Yes, it is basic principles. It is also the correct principles in the entire universe. And music, all the music, we start with do. So I use the do to create six auspicious phases. Look, there are so many meanings in the sutra and so many sutra scriptures, but they all adhere to the basic. So is music. So there are many sounds, 13 of them or more, but they are all related to the sound do. With respect to the Buddha, the performers present amazing drum performance, mixing dance with martial arts. Youth Theater also invited a hundred performers to act and inspire people to think and explore. I think a youth theater is very simple and they really want to do a good job, but they have worked very hard to understand Ji as much as they can in two or three months. I think this is the most heavenly performance too. I have come across. They understand right away. It's perfect. I am confident about them. The Dharma Assembly incorporates the past and the future. The performers present a sutra adaptation with sincerity, purifying people's hearts and minds. <laughs> To mark the 55th anniversary of Tsuji, the management personnel from Tsuji Affiliates prepared breakfast for Dhamma Masters and Tsingsu volunteers at the Jingzi abode. We'll leave you with these images. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye.